The second project started um, because I had a World Vision sponsored child up in the north um, west part of Cambodia and um, we went up there and we visited her family and I just noticed her mum had this funny eye now not being qualified, not having any clue of what it was, I presumed it was conjunctivitis. I actually went to the pharmacy and got her the antibiotics that she needed for her eye and gave it to her and said I'll be back in a couple of days and that should be cleared up. Anyway the days passed and I went back and um, her eye wasn't anywhere near clear and I went from conjunctivitis to you must have a cataract. Unfortunately, the following day I was actually leaving to come back to Australia and I made Leanne a promise and I said, Leanne, when I come back next year we'll get your cataract fixed. And her response to me was, that's okay, Missy Kate, I have another eye, I'm okay. And I'm like, no, that's not right, Leanne, we'll get something done. So um, I started researching and um, found out that there was um, an organisation in Cambodia that did cataracts, but they were about a 15 to 16 hour drive away, so that just wasn't practical. So I did some further research, and as I was re researching, I thought, well, if I'm going to do all of this for one, why not make it 100? So we made a commitment just at home that we are going to do 100 cataract surgeries the following year when we came back. So I started looking into who does surgeries and how we could set it up and I found um, an organisation that supplied cataract equipment um, in this area. So I sent my friend who lived off of the rubbish dump up to meet um, with this man to try and figure out how we could get the cataract fixed. Um, a very long story, I'll cut it short, he went to the wrong address and he met a man who was an optometrist and um, told him that there's this lady in Australia who wants to do this cataract surgery for this lady and he, he said, you know, that was my dream, he would love to set something up like that but didn't have the opportunity. So we went over and we helped fit out a, um, a little theatreette and a, a, um, a clinic, if you like. And um, so the BOC Eye Centre was established from there and Leanne didn't have a cataract at all, she had a dirigium. So um, she, had, she was the first person operated on. And since that day, in 2007, the clinic opened until 2011. Last year we did 45% of the nation's cataract surgeries out of that little clinic up in Badenbong. Well, it's, it's, we go out and we, um, we do eye screenings and eye education. So we're trying to do prevention out in the communities. Um, we would sc screen probably about 30,000 plus through the actual clinic. But the people who have eye surgeries, there's about three and a half thousand a year that we're performing. And there's just um, two ophthalmologists and um, they work pretty hard every day. They do about anywhere approximately between 15 and 23 surgeries a day. So um, yeah, they're getting through it. The, the really exciting thing about this project is um, people pay what they can afford. Um, the surgery actually costs $45. But we have clientele there who obviously are quite wealthy who will come and use our, the clinic and they will pay what they feel it's worth. And then we have other people who can't afford any money but may bring half a cup of rice or a chicken or whatever they can give, they will give. Um, so, so the whole community knows that if you can afford something, you pay what it's worth so you can pay for somebody else. So it's quite sustainable in that way.